Welcome to these additional episodes of Your Pregnancy Week by Week. We're going to provide information about things you may want to know about before baby's birth and in the weeks and months after baby arrives. Dr. Glade Curtis and I hope these discussions will help you and your partner settle into your new roles as parents. The information in these episodes is a general informative guide. None of the information we provide is intended to replace, countermand, or conflict with the advice given to you by your own doctors. Always follow his or her advice. Use the information you learn here as a starting place in your dialogue to help you put your life with baby and after pregnancy concerns, questions, or interests into words. Each episode will cover one topic. Our discussions are intended to help guide you through the many new experiences awaiting you. So let's get started on this discussion. We're going to talk about getting ready to return to work. If you make the decision to return to work, there are some things you can do to make the transition from home to career easier and more successful. Start before you return to help you get back in the swing of working once again. Start at least two weeks before you plan to return to work. Experiment with various feeding techniques before you make any final decisions on baby's feeding routine. You may decide to continue breastfeeding baby. This can be easy if baby is near where you work or your job offers daycare services. If visiting baby during the day isn't an option, you'll have to pump your breasts and store your breast milk. Using a dual action pump gets the job done twice as fast. Refrigerating or freezing expressed breast milk is a good solution. If you breastfeed, eliminate one nursing every couple of days. Bottle feed express milk or formula for day feedings. Eliminate the first and last breastfeedings of the day as your final switch to bottle feeding. Next, examine your wardrobe. Try clothes on. You may be larger in size, it's natural, or your body shape may have changed somewhat, making some clothes fit differently. Be sure to try on shoes you may not have worn for a while, too. Shoe size can increase one half to one full size during pregnancy, and feet often remain bigger even after baby's birth. If you intend to breastfeed or pump during working hours, you may need clothes that allow you to do this easily. Pack some to keep at work. Finalize daycare arrangements. Talk to the person you'll leave baby with if it's care in their home or yours. If you take baby to a daycare center, visit the place to check it out again and make sure they have enrolled your child. It's a good idea to have sick baby arrangements in place in case your child gets sick and you can't take her to daycare. If you use a babysitter, you may need to arrange for an alternate sitter in case she gets sick. You may not realize how valuable your time will be when you're at home. Evaluate your needs. Can you eliminate certain chores or change your standards? See if you can do chores more efficiently, such as cooking ahead for the week or shopping only once a week. Maybe you can hire someone to do some cleaning for you. It's a good idea to begin your work routine one week before you return to work. Choose your clothes and lay them out the night before. Be sure everything is okay to wear. Go to bed early to get a good night's sleep. Get up at the time you normally would if you were going to work. Get ready for the day. Feed baby on the new schedule. Make and eat your own breakfast. Allow time to pack a lunch and pack baby's diaper bag with the things to take to daycare. Make a list of all the supplies you'll need for baby at home and at daycare. Consider diapers, express breast milk or formula, baby clothes, extra bottles, a second car seat, and anything else you may need for baby's care and comfort. Be sure you're well stocked. It may be a good idea to start taking baby to daycare this week. It's easier to work out details during this time because you're not rushed or stressed. When you return to work, you might not have the time to deal with situations you can easily deal with right now. While baby's at daycare, do errands or take care of other tasks. Use the time for yourself, too. By taking time to prepare to go back to work, it may make the transition easier for you. 
having details worked out ahead of time can help you feel less stressed and more confident you can be a mom and work too. Good luck. If you'd like to read about baby, check out our book, Your Baby's First Year Week by Week. We cover many subjects dealing with baby in a weekly format. Each week is a fairly quick read. If you want to find out more about this podcast, visit our website, yourpregnancyweekbyweek.com. If you're looking for something specific, check out the podcast topics list. It lists topics about baby covered in our Let's Explore More segments. Follow us on social media for updates, new podcast episodes, and other important information. Visit Your Pregnancy Week by Week, all one word, on Facebook and Instagram.